wasn't funny. Casey? Case! Case? Casey? Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Are you hiding on me? Oh, excuse me. Hey, um... I'm looking for my son. He's he's a little guy. He's uh, got light brown hair, and he's wearing a blue shirt. No, sorry. Are you sure? I mean, he was here just a minute. Oh, you know, I got a picture. He's uh, where is this? <laughs> he's uh, here he is. His uh, name is Casey, and he's about five, and he has a baseball mitt. Did you see him? Did you? Are you sure? No, sorry. Look, if if I see him, I'll stay with him and look for you. Okay. Thanks. Case? Come on, buddy, where are you? Casey? Hey, hey, excuse me, guys. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Look, I'm looking for my son. He's about five years old. He has uh, light brown hair. He has a, a blue shirt, red shorts, and sneakers, huh? What's his name? His name's Casey. I mean, we were playing right over there. He must have no, He must have wandered we off. Did he try to play with you? No, we were over there. Tell me the truth. Did he try to play with you? If you see me, look, here's a picture of him. Here, picture. Seen him? No, I'm sorry. Case? Casey? 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 Case? Come on, Case! Casey! Don't do this to dad, please. Don't do this to daddy. Come on, Case. Come on, buddy. Case. and say to you in case you're gonna be late. Oh, Mom, huh. Mom, I got Rocky Road. They will not be late. Whoa, what a weapon. I know two guys who won't miss out on that. Yeah. You could win the 100-yard dash, Mom. I guess I'm nearly the perfect mother I then, aren't I? guess you are. But for one thing, that means I gotta start dinner without your dad here to help. That means right. you'll be helping in the kitchen. Huh? I'll race you. Hey, don't you start You started? Oh, not that fair, huh? Balance, Tom, I need your help. Tom, what's wrong? Casey, he's gone! Dad and Casey are going to be so sorry they didn't come to see the movie with us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I don't see why Casey just wanted to play some stupid game of catch with Dad in the park. You don't see that? <laughs> needed a break in his mitt. He needed a little practice. Well, duh, I mean, he needs it. Well, duh, so did you when you were his age, wise guy. <laughs> Mom, I'm so starving. All right, well, we should wait to put the burgers on, but if you're really starving, I guess we can go ahead. Oh, cool. Can I eat Casey's ice cream? Oh, cool. No, I don't think so. Like, he's not going to come home and want it himself. Well, you the don't chances have a point of that, that I need ice this cream. Way, help I me in the kitchen. All right, they've got a description of Casey. They're going to fan out over the floor. Tom, he wouldn't. Cross that road up there, would he? No, no, he knows better than that. <sighs> Look, I appreciate this. Hey, you were right to call me. I mean, I know he's all right. He just wandered off, hooked up some kids. You know, that's probably it. He was right here. I went in there for 30 seconds. I come back, and he's gone. I mean, I don't okay. know where. Okay. We're going to fan out. Eddie. Started the drive up there, work your way back down here. Doyle, you go over to that fountain, talk to anybody you see around that playground. Yes, okay. Sir. Don't worry, we're gonna find him.
How long did you leave Casey alone? I didn't leave him alone. I don't know. I told you. I went in there for 30 seconds. I had my back turned. I came out. He was gone. How long after that before you called me? An hour. Less, less than an hour. I... I looked around. There were people here. I talked to them. I showed his picture. I went up to the road. I thought I'd find him up there. Did you see anybody suspicious in the area when you and Casey were playing? No. Did you strike up a conversation with anybody? No. Did Casey? Did he what? Talk to strangers? No, he didn't talk I'm to sorry, strangers! sorry, Tom. I have to ask these questions. We've been over this with him, Hal. He knows not to wander off. He knows not to talk to strangers. He's never done anything like this before. Margot know about this? I called. There's nobody home. She's in a movie with Adam. I thought I'd have Casey back by the time he got home. Hey, maybe you will. You stay put. You may come back this way. We searched the park, we searched the stretch up to the mall, we talked to everybody in the area. Nobody's seen him, Tom. So how about the playground? By the fountain? Tom, he's not in the park. Now, he's probably gonna turn up here any minute, but right now we have to consider the worst, the possibility that he's been taken. It's impossible. As a stranger, Take my kid in 30 seconds without me hearing anything, without a struggle. It's possible, Tom. It happens, and it doesn't have to be a stranger. In most cases where a kid's abducted, it's by somebody who knows the family, where they work, where they live, where they play. This doesn't even have to be about Casey. It could be somebody trying to get to you and Margo. Somebody like Mason, Tom. No. No. No! I'm not no! saying that's it, Tom, but it's a possibility that we have to consider Mason did threaten you. I guess you better put out an APB, huh? We'll have police at the bus stations and the airports. And we'll check the hospitals. Let's go. In case you're so late, I mean, it's too dark to play. Well, you want to go ahead and start without him? No. All right. Well, then, I promise you, as soon as that door opens, we will put the burgers on and we will be in business. All right. Oh, Mom! Business! <laughs> Dad! Oh, hey. Uncle Hal! I didn't know you were coming. Mom, can Uncle Hal stay for dinner, please? Sure he can. He loves yes. my cooking. We'll set an extra plate. <laughs> Where's Casey? <laughs> 